What's up, everybody? How's it going? I try to start each episode with a very energetic welcome because I, I, I want to I wanna get you going. These come out usually at 9 o'clock in the morning, Central Daylight Savings Time. I want you guys to be woken up by the, the dulcet tones of my vocals. That's a scary thought. A couple interesting things. Oh, I'm not going to make this light. I'm not going to make this light. Dang it. Oh, I need to make this light. Oh, we're good. We're good. <laughs> I'm a speed demon. So, some stuff happened. Many of you probably know, I'm a huge Pixar fan. I love Pixar. And we're not gonna talk about Cars 2 or Brave. No. No. So, something went out on the Twitters from Disney Pixar. And it's a little tidbit of information that I think people need to know. Because it's really cool. First of all, what's your favorite Pixar movie? I'm gonna tell you what your favorite Pixar movie is. It's The Incredibles, right? That's like 90% of people's favorite Pixar movies. Now, side note, it's not mine. I love it. I think it's a great movie. I really do. But Toy Story 3 has a place in my heart. That's besides the point. The point is your favorite movie is The Incredibles. I'm pretty much right. And I just wanted to let you guys know that Mr. Brad Bird, the man who wrote and directed The Incredibles for Pixar as the first outside director, is coming back to write and direct the Incredibles 2! Yes! Are you kidding me? Do you know how long people have wanted The Incredibles 2? So long. So long. So long people have wanted that. They've been asking. Brad Bird's pretty, pretty present on Twitter. And he probably gets at least one tweet a day asking him to make The Incredibles 2. The end of The Incredibles is so perfect. The way that they, they come together as a family, they've got their powers, they've conquered, you know, this this fear of being known and this fear of, of being ridiculed, and they're, now they're together, and they have it. They're ready to take on the world and save it. And out of nowhere, up from the ground, comes the Underminer. And he's ready to destroy the Incredibles, right? And then it's just, bam, end of movie. And you're like, what? What happened? What happened? What happens next? What happens next? And for years, Brad Bird was like, I'm not, I'm not doing Incredibles 2. No, that was a standalone thing. We are not doing Incredibles 2. It's not happening. And people were like, but, 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 the ending. The ending. Why? Why? I mean, how cool would a sequel to that be? And I, and here's my prediction. That Incredibles 2 will have nothing to do with the Underminer. They will, like, maybe reference him and then jump into a completely new story. That would be Brad Bird. Because he's such a little curmudgeon, I could just see him being like, fine, fine, I'll make you guys your Incredibles too. But guess what? No Underminer. <laughs> that's, that's what he's gonna do. That's fine with me. I trust him. He knows what he's doing. And somebody else, uh, I believe it was uh, Josh Hancock, he's one of my friends, in case you're wondering, came up with the idea that maybe it would just show like this kind of like Indiana Jones, you know, like in the Indiana Jones when the guy's like flinging the sword and he's like all ready to fight Indy and Indy's like, ugh. He just pulls out his gun and shoots him. That's what they're gonna do with the Underminer. That that was that was uh, Josh Hancock's idea, was that they would just kind of destroy him right there on the spot and that would be over and then they'd move on with the story, which I think would be a cool idea. I think that'd be funny if they did it right. If you're gonna give the fans the Underminer, at least, you know, do it with some kind of tact if you're gonna destroy him in the first 10 minutes of the movie. Now here's the bad news. Good news, bad news. They're also doing a Cars 4. Three. There's only two of them. They're gonna do Cars. I was counting planes. So they're gonna do a Cars 3, which, here's my thing with that. John Lasseter is an extremely creative man, but some somewhere along the line, he let himself get caught up with this one franchise. And because he's the owner of the company, he gets to make the choices. He's so enthralled with the, the world of Cars. And I think it's personal for him, because Cars came out of a trip that he took with his family across the United States after he had worked on Toy Story, A Bug's Life, and then Toy Story 2 all back to back and hadn't seen his family for like four years. It was just like gone all the time. And his wife was like, you have to take a break. And so he went out, went on a road trip across the United States and came up with this idea of a, a race car that's going too fast through life and needs to slow down and learn the true value of friendship and relationship. So 
which is great. And Cars 1 is an okay film. I mean, it's it's good. It's better than like other animated films. But as far as Pixar goes, it's kind of at the, you know, for me, it's kind of at a bottom, bottom of the scale kind of thing. Cars 2 is just a disaster for me. And that was not entertaining. It was not fun for me. I didn't like it. But now they're gonna make a third one. But let's focus on the positive here, that there's gonna be an Incredibles 2. That's what we need to focus on. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I uh, hope to see you again soon. Please leave a like if you did and subscribe if you haven't. Remember, I am still doing my 50 subscriber giveaway. If I get 50 subscribers, I will do a giveaway where I will give away a movie or a game depending on who wins and what their preference is. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.